Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, we are having a quick and easy meal tonight. I had this Parmesan crusted fish in my freezer. And if you've been with us for a while, you know that Howard and I are not huge fish people, but I'm trying to eat more fish and stuff like that. So I cooked this in the air fryer. And then we are just having some canned corn, canned corn, excuse me, um, that I added butter and salt and pepper to. And then we are just having some good old Kraft macaroni and cheese. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I am trying out a new meatless recipe tonight. It is called linguine with garlic sauce. And I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box, but this is what it looks like. Doesn't it look so good? So I've already got my water boiling for the linguine and I've chopped up a pound of mushrooms. I've got some garlic right here and it also calls for mozzarella and parsley and Calls for rosemary, but neither Howard or I really care for rosemary, so I'm not gonna add that. Everything else I'm gonna add. So let me get everything together and I'll show you how everything turned out. Okay, so here is the linguine with garlic sauce and let me show you the picture again. So here's a picture, here's mine. Um, I will say it was really quick and easy to put together. What I don't like about this recipe is I did not think about the fact that the mozzarella was gonna make everything stick together. So I would definitely do this again, but instead of mozzarella, I would use just the traditional Parmesan cheese um, because on the picture, it looks like the noodles are separate, but on our place, the noodles are kind of clumped together and the um, mushrooms didn't get integrated because the pasta is all stuck together. So that's my only complaint, but it is a really good dish. With it, I'm just serving some garlic bread and just using this. This is one that I always use and I get it from Tom Thumb. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I went to my freezer and I pulled out two boxes of this jammin' jerk shrimp. Um, normally I don't make two boxes, but the serving size is pretty small. And I used to buy these all the time and hadn't been able to find them for a very long time and ran across them at Target, so I grabbed them. So I am serving them over the shrimp over um, jasmine rice. And then I also made some stir fried green beans. I, I am using um, all these very fine frozen green beans and I just stir fried them with a little bit of garlic salt. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are eating from our freezer tonight. So I made this crunchy chicken and it is from Bibigo, which is a brand that Howard and I really like a lot. And you make it in the, actually there's air fryer instructions, but I made this in the oven and then it comes with a soy garlic sauce. And here it is, I tasted it and it was really good to me but I do like soy and I like garlic. Um, Howard's not a big soy person, he thought it was okay. I'm serving it over white rice with some leftover stir fried green beans. And I also made some of these um, chicken Thai basil spring rolls that I picked up from Target. I got these from Target and I made these in the air fryer as well and it comes with a sweet chili garlic sauce. So I tried the spring roll let me show it to you again. I tried the spring roll and it's pretty good. It's kind of, kind of reminds me of Trader Joe's chicken spring rolls, if you ever had those before. Um, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so Howard's family was in town to meet Harrison and we cooked out and I didn't want to film while they were here, but let me show you what we had. These are leftovers, of course, but we grilled out some hamburgers and hot dogs. Um, Howard grilled those and then I made some baked beans and I made some macaroni and cheese. And then we also had chips and I made a peach cobbler as well and some Rice Krispie Treats which I have shown those Rice Krispie Treats before and I will link the recipe 
in the description box so you guys can check that out. And the macaroni and cheese is my crock pot macaroni and cheese, but of course I baked it. So just follow those directions and then just bake it for about 45 minutes. I'll link that video in the description box as well. So anyway, this is what we had for dinner and we will see you guys next time.